right. Okay, sorry about that. Thank you very much for tuning in. This should be the final video here. What? Ah, oh, joy. Alright. Well, looks like we're gonna find out and see what is going on for real in this facility. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Whoever finds my corpse, trust no one and tell everyone. I am not crazy. I know, I know, only crazy people say that. But I am as sane as this world allows with a camera full of evidence. Don't call it a gospel. Call it a mockery of reason. Let the world know it is Murkoff's fault. Bury these bastards with my mutilated dead body. From the personal records of Dr. Wernicke, Frankenstein of the or the Modern Prometheus by Mary Shelley, published anonymously in 1818, chapter 23, excerpt. Man, I cried, how ignorant art thou in thy pride of wisdom. Cease, you know not what it is you say. I broke from the house angry and disturbed, and retired to meditate on some other mode of action. Project Wallrider Postmortem Preparatory Report MM1300921. From note, all material herein to be transcribed and revised to fit legally binding requirements of Murkoff Corps records. See Form 4083. Author Jennifer Rowland. Notes. My fourteenth autopsy of a Wallrider patient showing no more signs of accepting the therapy than any of the others. There have been slight gains in cell migration and morphogenesis, including effects similar to human growth hormone, but nothing to suggest the stable creation of a sentient independent swarm. So tired, doubting my own judgment. We'll submit another request for leave. The psychological cost of using such far gone and further provoked patients is more than I feel I can handle. May suggest hanging less hope on the far-flung theories of a senile Nazi and move towards using a simpler mechanical engine based on major sperm protein. We'll definitely suggest harsher chemical restraints. Murkoff Security killed patient 921 after he overcame enough tranquilizers to put down a hockey team. I'm afraid the hormone therapy is interacting with our chemical restraints in a counterproductive manner.
This is the way you die, ripped to pieces from the inside, watching your marrow scatter on a concrete wall. You've escaped one hell, Chris Walker. God help me, but I somehow hope you didn't find another. Over here, please. I must try to explain. I know, I, I know. I am supposed to see those kind of paintings. No, no such luck. I am older than sin, but somehow the only one left because of Billy. He takes care of me. He may think I'm his father. He certainly loves me, the poor idiot. Do you know what this symbol represents? It warns of a nano hazard. Microscopic machines. Technology we have had for decades but never mastered. Birkhoff discovered in my research a workaround. Turn into cells in a human body into nano factories. It's the natural function of cells to produce molecules, but through psychosomatic direction, we engineered the precise molecules necessary. Mind over body. It was foolish and wrong to think we could control it. To use madmen to make something so strong. You have to stop him to murder Billy. Turn off his life support, his anesthesia. You have to undo what I've done. No one can get out of this place while he lives. You must kill him. here. This is where we started. It's the wrong way. I see. starts chasing you. Note to all personnel from consultant MM08 008 Rudolf Wernicke. Do not worship the swarm nor allow the delusions of the patients to influence your beliefs. Any sentient being based in this technology will be so far superior to us that illusions of godliness will be reasonable. We have always looked into chaos and called it God. We now are blessed with sufficient power that such belief could destroy us. Do not be tempted. Remember that you are scientists. machine. The assembler, the feed chambers, the per precursor molecules. Vague memories of nanotechnology articles I've read online, probably drunk, probably distracted. Not nearly enough to know how to destroy it. But Billy is the center of it. Find him, kill him, end this.
From Billy's patient reports, he ought to be at least 23 years old. He looks like at least 50 years of rough road, pain scratched deep into what I can see. Killing you would, killing you would be an act of kindness. To avoid patient injury, the morphogenic engine life pod requires a daily inspection of all vital systems. Vital System 1, the enriched oxygenated perfluorocarbon from the life support fluids reservoir must be continually flushed and replaced through the course of the patient's treatment. Note that OP also supplies anesthetics. Any interruption in supply will cause sufficient pain to the patient to potentially disrupt the experiment. Vital System 2, electric supply is supplemented and insured by the sublab generator. Proper fueling and maintenance of the sublab generator should be confirmed hourly. Vital System 3. In the case of cat catastrophic loss of Vital Systems 1 and 2, the life pod failsafe will engage, maintaining localized minimum life support functions until technicians can arrive. Disabling failsafe will result in immediate patient termination. So that's how we do it. Billy's hope, Billy Hope's lungs, his liver, his life support. A machine the size of a football stadium to keep one lunatic alive. Fuck it all. Break it all. He has to die. freaking documents. Okay. From the personal records of Dr. Wernicke, Frankenstein or the Modern Prometheus by Mary Shelley, published anonymously in 1818, chapter 4 excerpt. Learn from me, if not by my precepts, at least by my example. How dangerous is the acquirement of knowledge, and how much happier that modest man than he who aspires to become greater than his nature allows. on the first time. Fuck, 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 fuck. Please find attached the permission to proceed form for patient William Hope of the Murkoff Charitable Psychiatry Program at Mount Massive Hospital in Colorado. The form is standard and all relevant lines have been signed. It appears Billy is unaware of his mother's recent guided cardiac arrest. He is submitting to the experiment with the understanding unfounded of financial remuneration to his mother and a charitable contribution to her church. Wernicke, having read the boy's dream reports, believes he has enormous therapeutic potential.
is dead, the wall rider, the swarm, whatever it is, I'm made with him. Whether I escape or die, or die here, I am free. fingers. That was Outlast. Um, see you soon with the Whistleblower DLC. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I do very much apologize that my original recording did not render properly, but it's not the end of the world. So hopefully, hopefully it doesn't happen again with Whistleblower. All right, well, I will see you later. Please like, subscribe, comment, and fave. Definitely, definitely appreciate it, and we'll love you forever. All right, thanks. Bye.